Hi everybody, my name is Jason DeWild and I'm the Head of Audio here at the Australian Institute of Music and welcome to another micro lecture. Uh, thank you very much for everyone who's been uh, clicking on and watching them, it's fantastic that you're doing this and I'm uh, glad to be uh, helping out here. Last micro lecture we talked about expand, uh, the synthesizer that's inside of Pro Tools and if you missed that micro lecture, I'll tell you what, just click here and you'll get onto it there. So, if you, um, if you, now you've seen that one, let's have a look now at another way to use expand. In the last micro lecture, we talked about expand being used as different synthesizers and you could assign different information to that. We're going to use expand now as a slightly more, uh, in another way, by using it as a layering tool. So I've got at the moment a, 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 an instrument track with expand on it, and here's a sound. Okay. Okay, it's not particularly exciting. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to just simply layer and find a different sound, much better for that. So we're going to maybe choose um, some electric piano, yeah, maybe a CP. Okay, and that's all very well. But what we're going to do is going to make that even a little bit richer still. So we're going to underlay that potentially with potentially a. Um, elect, uh, another acoustic piano sound. So we might actually have our oops, upright piano. So it's the same information now going to both MIDI channel number one here. So we've now got the sort of layering effect. So here we have our nice um, uh, electric piano sound. And now we've layered that with an acoustic piano. And that sounds pretty cool, but you know what we're going to do? We're also going to lay that one more time. We're going to put maybe some string sounds on top of that. Yeah? So I might go for some uh, pizzicato strings, big pizzicatos. So again, we'll lay that one in. totally change the sound there and again we'll lower even, even something more richer we'll put a organ of some sort maybe a big digital church organ so in the last lecture we talked about four different synthesizers having four different pieces of information in this one we're getting a nice layering effect and specific feeding the same information to all four synthesizers. And that's done by just simply assigning them to the same MIDI channel here. Of course, you have the usual idea of being able to control each of the synthesizers levels and as well as their pan as well. So you can have some really nice spread out and rich sounds. Next lesson, we're going to even use um, more to create even richer effects by using the actual effects themselves. Until next time, take care. See you later.